Hey, what's up guys? Philip here bringing you another review. And today we're gonna to be checking out the Durgod Venus 60% mechanical keyboard. Now this keyboard is really unique because it has a really high build quality and I'm really excited to show you guys how awesome this thing really is. Now, before we get into the review, a quick 30 second word from the sponsor of this video. Sparkify is a website that pulls in giveaways from all over the internet and brings them into one place. So instead of running around the internet looking for the best giveaways out there, Sparkify brings them into one place for you to cherry pick which giveaways you want to enter. So if you wanna win some free stuff, I'll leave a link down in the description below where you can create your Sparkify account to win some cool giveaway prizes. So when unboxing this keyboard, what's included is the keyboard of course two cables that let you connect this keyboard to your computer and that's going to be USB A to USB C and USB C to USB C a keycap puller that lets you pull the keys out and customize the keyboard a velcro strip that will help a little bit with some cable management a sticker with their brand logo on it pretty cool stuff if you want to slap it on your mug or maybe your computer now the color options available with this keyboard are white like I have here or a black version and with each version you have 10 different key switch options that you can choose from. You can get the cherries, the Gatorons, and the kale switches, which I'll cover that a little bit later in this video. Now, in terms of the build quality of this keyboard, this thing's construction was fantastic. The base of the keyboard is made fully of aluminum, which will prevent the keyboard from being bended. And it's also gonna give this more durable feel, which I'm really a fan of, as opposed to keyboards that have a plastic base. So definitely a fan of the full aluminum here. On the top right side of the keyboard, you can see three indicator lights, which are gonna indicate the caps lock window mode. And I'm not really sure what the last light was, but I find it really cool that they did include these lights because most 60% keyboards, they try to be as slim as possible, which is nice, but I do like it when they have a few extra features like this that really make the usability experience a lot nicer. And if you look on the back of the keyboard, you can see that there are four rubber grips that are gonna help prevent the keyboard from sliding around, which is definitely fantastic. And on the side, you can also see that there is a USB-C port. And like I said earlier, this thing has two cables that were included with the keyboard, and that's gonna be USB-C to USB-A and the USB-C to USB-C. So I like that they threw in a few connectivity options for you to choose from. Now the layout of this keyboard is gonna be a 60% sized keyboard, and that's gonna mean that your number pad and all the buttons in between are missing and the benefit of that is when your keyboard is short it's gonna allow you to have more room on your desk which means your mouse and keyboard don't have to be so split apart so you can kind of keep them closer which is going to be more comfortable and provide for a more ergonomic experience however the downside of having a 60% keyboard is you're going to be missing things like the number pad the media controls but they are still all on here you just have to press a sequence of buttons. So you can, you might have to press like function plus number three to skip the track as opposed to having a dedicated media control button. So it's kind of like you have your pros and cons and you gotta choose what you want and don't want in your keyboard. Now I did mention earlier that there are 10 different key switches available on this keyboard. And the one I have here are the Gatoron yellow switches. And if you're not familiar with the yellows, they're pretty similar to the reds, but the difference between the reds and the yellows yellows is the reds require 45 grams of force to actuate and then the yellows require 50 grams so basically you just got to push the yellows a little bit harder than the reds in order for the key to actuate now here's a quick typing test for y'all to hear what the Gatoron yellow key switches sound like Overall, I'm really happy with how these Gatoron yellow switches sound. They're not too loud like the blues, so you're not gonna distract other people around you. And they're not too quiet where you don't get that like mechanical keyboard vibes and feels. So really happy with the yellows. Now in terms of the key wobble, the space bar is a little bit on the wobbly side, but it's not horrible like some other mechanical keyboards I've used in the past. So if you're worried about the wobble, I wouldn't be because this thing is pretty good in the build quality. And that goes for the space bar as well as the regular keys. The regular keys have less wobble than the space bar. Now 
Now getting into the RGB lights with this keyboard, they do have different color options that are built onto the keyboard. And you can cycle between like a rainbowy color, a few different solid colors, or you can turn them off if you don't want any lights. If you wanna get into a lot of depth with how the lights actually work, you're gonna have to install the software off the Duragod website. And then in terms of the brightness levels of the lights, I would say they're really bright, especially compared to more budget keyboards I've used, like in the 50 to $80 range. These things shine a lot more vividly and illuminate a lot more light. So the lights, you're definitely not gonna be disappointed with this keyboard. Pros and cons with this keyboard, my favorite thing by far about this keyboard Board is the build quality. It's constructed very well, feels polished, it doesn't feel cheap, and you definitely feel like you're paying you get what you pay for. Another great thing, of course, is the lights. They're very durable or very bright, and even in daytime lights like I have here right now, it's there's a big window in front of me and the lights are really visible. It may not be as noticeable on the camera, but in person these lights can definitely shine well in the daytime and at night. And another fantastic thing about this keyboard is the customization settings. You have a detachable cable, you have 10 different key switches you can choose from, and a black and white color. So customization with this keyboard is there. Now I couldn't really find too many downsides with this keyboard, but if I were to pick one, I would say it's the price. It's a little bit on the expensive side and it goes for $140. You can still get something pretty good for like the night $90 range, maybe $90 to $100, but this thing is like $50 more than that. And you know, you definitely feel the quality difference. This thing is definitely a lot better than something like the Razer Huntsman Mini. The build quality on this thing is significantly better. Like if I were to put the Razer Huntsman Mini next to this thing, which I reviewed recently, you would be able to see how much better this construction quality is than the Razer. So if you're willing to fork out 50 extra dollars, then you definitely won't be disappointed with this because the construction quality, fantastic. Now, if you are looking for a different type of keyboard, maybe something more slim, I'll leave a link down in the description below pointing the, to the Logitech G915, which is also a fantastic slim mechanical keyboard. If you do wanna buy this keyboard, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below pointing to Amazon on where you can purchase it. And if you wanna stay in the loop with what's happening in the tech world, make sure you click that subscribe button and I'll keep you up to date. Don't forget to like this video and leave your comments down below. See you in the next one.